A big problem in the war between Call of Duty and Battlefield is comparing of these highly two different games. You know, a lot of people fight at each other and say that Call of Duty sucks, Battlefield sucks, COD's better, and vice versa. But in reality, comparing Call of Duty and Battlefield is like comparing a couch to a bed and asking what's better to sleep on. You know, they're both good for sleeping, right? But, you know, heavily different. COD, you know, Call of Duty, one of the most popular games in the world alongside Battlefield, has the hundreds and thousands of haters who tend to hate on COD for its crappy guns, crappy maps, unbalancing issues, just being an unrealistic game. People hate on Battlefield for being too realistic, too boring, the map's too la large, and the flying sucks. Seeing a common trend, the thing is COD is an FPS action game. The maps are small and obviously designed for close quarter combat, you know, a lot of dying, respawning, and getting a lot of kills. Mainly being a game that everyone can pick up and learn in a couple hours regardless of their experience playing FPS. The thing with Battlefield is while still in FPS, it's it tends to aim for the more realistic depiction of combat. You know, the maps are longer, more areas to cover, and BF incorporates vehicles and jets into the game. Now, could you imagine Battlefield 3 jets inside a COD arena? It wouldn't work, simply because of how the game Call of Duty is made. Could you imagine Call of Duty on any Battlefield 3 large-scale maps? Like I said earlier, it wouldn't work. That's the main problem of this online hatred war against the two games. Comparing the games are so different. It's not worth comparing... Then there's always the one guy who comes along and says, if you want a realistic war game, go join the army. If you want a realistic war game, why don't you just play Arma?